Fielzeka! What's arrived, ladies and gentlemen? Here it is the buffer. Let's get in here. Definitely looks a lot smaller in person. That's what she said. So, uh, we have instructions here. It's hard to just breeze through them. Uh, take it apart and put it together. Um, same as you did the last 19 times. So here it is. Yeah, it feels nice and mushy. Much less, uh, much mushier than the brittle one. That's for sure. So. Ba-boom, we're back. I took the liberty of taking the stock screws out to make it a little uh to process a little faster ba boom we've been here before push out the pin push out the other pin nice and clean the rifle though right pins are out trigger groups out Extractor is gone. Is gone. Where did it go? Where did it go? It's completely missing. Did it come out with the? Oh, there it goes. Sorry, it came out with the tree group this time. See, it's you never know. Different every time. Uh, right. So we're going in here. It's weird. Just looking at it, it looked like it was like backwards. Let's check it out. So if it's gonna go in here, let's go. Maybe we get a little, little more light on the subject. Does that help? Uh, I'm just seeing uh, there's only two ways it could go, right? It could go this way, or it could go uh, this way. Certainly, oh, that way. That's the way it goes. The whole time you're looking at it, I was thinking it. The large side, but on the bottom, doesn't it look like it would be that way? Right? It looks like it's wide here, like it would go this way, but it doesn't. It doesn't fit that way. So it's here. The relief has to be down in that corner. Remember, with the bolt connected. So this is, yeah, this is probably going to be a little bit of a resistance fit here, but I don't want to use any lubrication because I don't know if uh, excess lubrication would mess up uh, this uh, plastic here. But, uh, man, it sure, is, uh, it sure is made quite a bit larger than that uh, hole there, isn't it? Work it in. I'm working it. Is it going? It's going. It's going. There it goes. Nice. Now we get the bolt. Make sure you locate that into that hole there. That in there, that's in there. Let's get the bolt handle in. Right, is that good? Get the bolt handle in. Bolt handle's in nice. Let's see this buffer here. Nice. That's what we're talking about. Listen, if it's not seated 100%, it will be. No, that's it. It's in there good. Nice. So that's it. I'll spare you uh, the rest of the reassembly. We've only done it like nine times. All right, so we got those pins back in again. And then uh, I felt obligated to, there's an interesting aspect here when you get to this point is uh, very special because we're not gonna be back in here again, right? So now this is a good time to really get in here good, a couple of microfiber towels is my way of doing this. 
then you get in here really good everything that's going to be covered up by the stock because you'd be surprised the next time somebody goes in here again any place that you touched can be a nice cancerous rust glob so get in here real good anything that's metal i'm gonna wipe it down and we'll be careful what we touch here when we get this stock rebitted again That's what's been holding it up every time. Okay. What do we have? Okay, let's get these screws in. It feels that way. So now you don't want to go to get a little bit here, but we don't want to snug it. We kind of want to snug them at the same time. Because now the bedding is important. Whereas the other times we knew we were coming back in. So you just go a little there and a little there. And again, this screw, this bit perfectly fits inside this slot here. So now we go back and forth. A little bit at a time. A little snug, a little snug. Each one to bed it evenly. As so even as we can. And here we go. So, the buffer is in. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to feel like. Nice. Wonder if that'll ever have to be done again. You have to mark it one, you know what I mean? Like how, how good is that gonna hold up? So that's it, this is how it gets returned to my buddy and uh along with a box of 22 uh wmr that i found 200 rounds for 100 bucks i know that's crazy but uh, this is interesting stuff too if you don't have much experience i don't have much experience with this round but if you didn't know it's uh it's like a uh jacketed round and it has the tip like the lever lucian tip you know that like plasticky rubbery kind of tip so these could go into like tube magazines safely kind of cool so that he gets that and an owner's manual that uh, i found online and i downloaded so he's got the owner's manual and uh that's that ladies and gentlemen project Marlin Model 922 Magnum self-loading rifle in 22 Winchester Magnum rimfire is over. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, see y'all later. Yeah, Zach! <laughs>